Guys, last but not least, Naked or NAKD is the last stock that I'm breaking down for this morning. If you haven't seen the other ones I broke down, which were Tesla, NEO, and these other ones, go ahead and check those out. Um, other than that, let's go ahead and dive in, you guys. So I'm starting at a higher time frame that allows us to find our, our trend, our support and resistance lines, our entries, our exits, and all that good stuff, okay? So this is why we always start from a higher time frame. So being on the daily interval, uh, you guys can see I have my support and resistance lines already set. Let me go ahead and explain those to the new viewers. This top line is a major resistance line that is heavily tested. You can see that we have a candlestick rejected here, here, uh, a couple over here and over here. Okay, and on the opposite side of our resistance, we have support and you can see that we bounce off of this level a few times before ultimately breaking underneath and trying to create a breakout over here and push this back down to our major support line. We look left, you can see that we bounced over here, bounced over here and uh, testing the resistance underneath over here and back over here, okay? So now that we have that set, uh, let me check the pre-market. So pre-market, we're um, fluctuating between down 0.1% uh, or above that 1% um, on the volume. We're at 414,000, so that's pretty good. Uh, we're above that 150,000 uh, threshold. Um, let's go to where we're at uh, exactly. So uh, this is candle, uh, uh, candlestick was on Friday. So you can see that we broke below this major resistance line or what used to be our support line at the 57 cent area. We came down and came up and we tried to break past it and create a breakout, but we ultimately failed. And you can see that cl more clearly on the one hour chart. So now I'm on the one hour interval. So that way you guys can see these uh, individual candlesticks. So you can see that once we broke below that, we tried to come up, we would try to break past this uh, support line or this resistance line. So this is why we respect these lines, you guys. These are heavily tested areas. There's a reason why we put these lines here because they do work and uh, you have to respect them, okay? So you can see that we came up, we tried to create this uh, this breakout, ultimately failed and are continuing this downward trend. You can even see on the trend line, we're below the trend line, and even on the RSI, that look like we're oversold, we're trying to correct, but you have to look right above where we're at, you guys. We have this resistance right here. So getting in right now would be super, super aggressive because your first target would be back up here at this uh, this resistance because you don't know if we can come up test this resistance and then uh, fail and then continue this downward trend So what we want to see for the safest entry you guys is for us to come up Break past this 57 area come up and come back down and retest it as a floor If we can retest that as a floor, that'd be a great ideal entry You just have your stop loss back on the opposite side at the 55 cent area could be a good ideal stop loss Remember you guys we always have stop loss to prevent us from losing our entire account and uh, that's a good way to practice money management, okay? Always want to risk the minimum amount. So if we do uh, come up and come back down and retest this, like I said, just, uh, our stop loss should be down here. And your first target would probably be back up around the 77 cent area and then your second target all the way back up here at our previous highest point at the dollar 41 okay so i hope this video helped you guys like i said just be patient let's wait for the best opportunity let's wait for a clear direction that we're in as of right now it shows that we're in a downtrend let's break this uh minor resistance and retest our support level before getting in okay so uh, if you guys enjoy the content that I make, please hit that like and subscribe button. It allows me to create these Monday through Friday for you guys. Uh, so, and if you haven't seen my uh, other videos from this morning, go ahead and check them out. Uh, but other than that, I hope you guys have a beautiful day and happy trading.